So now moving on to hyperbolic functions, how do we find the integral of some basic hyperbolic functions? So first of all, we would like to start with this. The integral of sine ax dx is equal to, so first of all, you want to differentiate ax so that you have a, and that appears at the denominator. So you have 1 over a times cosh ax plus c. So sine changes to cosh. Now let's move on to the second one. The integral of cosh ax dx becomes, so as usual, you also differentiate ax and it also appears at the denominator. So you have 1 over a times sine ax plus c. The integral of sesh square ax dx is also equal to, you are going to have 1 over a. Now, whenever you integrate sesh square, you are going to have tanj. So you have 1 over a times tanj ax plus c. The integral of cosesh square ax is equal to, we are going to have negative 1 over a. Now integral of cosesh square, we are going to have cot. So you have times cot ax plus c. Integral of sesh ax times tanj ax dx is equal to, so basically you are going to have negative 1 over a times sesh ax plus c and also the integral of cosesh ax cot cot ax dx is also equal to so you still have negative 1 over a and this time you have times cosesh ax plus c now let's move on to the integral of tanj ax dx that will be equal to 1 over a times ln of the absolute value of cos ax plus c and lastly we have the integral of cot ax dx also to be equal to 1 over a times ln of sine ax so basically the absolute value of sine ax plus c so based on this information let's try questions 1 to 4 so we have the first to be the integral of 5 times tanj 2x dx so first we are going to pull out 5 because it is a constant now integral of tanj 2x or basically tanj ax that's going to correspond to 1 over a times ln of the absolute value of cos ax plus c. So basically this becomes, you differentiate this, you have 2, so you have 1 over 2 times ln of the absolute value of cos 2x 
plus c so that is equal to 5 over 2 times ln of the absolute value of cosh 2x plus c 2 we have the integral of sesh so actually this is supposed to be sesh square dx so this is supposed to be square so sesh square 4x dx and the integral of this is equal to sesh square ax dx is equal to 1 over a so you are going to have 1 over 4 times tanj 4x plus c so that's very simple now let's move on to 3 we have the integral of 2 cosh 3x dx so 2 comes outside and then when you integrate cosh ax you have 1 over a so we have 1 over 3 times sine times sine ax plus c so let's simplify this this becomes 2 over 3 sine 3x plus c and then 4 we have the integral of sine 3x plus cosh x dx so that is also equal to now when you integrate sine 3x so basically we have two terms here and so we are going to integrate term by term so when you integrate sine ax you have 1 over a cosh ax plus c so that's going to be 1 over 3 cosh 3x and then plus let's try to integrate cosh x so that also becomes sine x so basically it's going to be you differentiate this we have 1 over 1 times sine 1x so that is actually the same thing so basically when you integrate this function you are going to get 1 over 3 cos 3x plus sine x so now let's move on to integrals involving inverse hyperbolic functions so considering integrals involving inverse hyperbolic functions first of all we have the integral of 1 over the square root of x square plus a square dx that is equal to sine inverse of x over a plus c again the integral of 1 over the square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to we have cosh inverse of x over a plus c next if you have the integral of 1 over a square minus x square dx so that will also be equal to 1 over a times tanj inverse of x over a plus c that is if if a square is greater than x square and then lastly we can talk of the integral of 1 over x times the square root of a square minus x square dx and that we say is equal to negative 1 over a times search inverse of x over a plus c now using this information or this information 
let's try to solve questions 5 and 6 so we have just two examples here question 5 you want to find the integral of the function 1 over the square root of x square plus 16 dx now we can further express this as the integral of 1 over the square root of x square plus 16 is the same as 4 square now you realize that that corresponds to the integral of 1 over the square root of x square plus a square dx so therefore our result is going to give us sine inverse of x over a plus c is going to give us this form so basically we are going to have this to be equal to sine inverse of x of x over a so a is going to be 4 so over 4 plus c and that's basically our answer now let's move on to 6 we've got the integral of 5 over x times the square root of 4 minus x square dx 5 is a constant so we pull out 5 we have the integral of 1 over x times the square root of now 4 can be represented as 2 square minus x square dx so you realize that this expression we have here corresponds to this and that result to negative 1 over a times such inverse of x over a plus c so we have 5 on the outside times negative 1 over now we have a to be 2 so negative 1 over 2 times such inverse of x over 2 and then plus c so basically we are going to have our final answer to be negative 5 over 2 times search inverse of x over a sorry x over 2 plus c so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye